everyone, welcome back. Paul Tran here, one and only. Christine Arth next to me. Hello, I'm Christine Arth and this is Paul Tran. <laughs> yes, and we, you have a, again, we're pulling double duty today. Mm -hmm. Designer and host. And host each. and designer. And host and designer, <laughs> exactly. That's what's happening. Big thanks to Jesus Ramirez has been doing such a fine job. Thanks, Jesus. And he also was wearing blue. We all coordinated yeah. today, so we, we have a photo. Unbeknownst to each other. Follow us on Instagram, not, I'll show you later. We're not on a group chat with where we coordinate no. outfits. It just happens. It just happens naturally. Just in yeah. sync, that's what happens. That's what. That's Adobe. Yes. In sync. So happy to see our friends here. Uh, happy to see, de, de see gu, uh, Guav. Ooh. Yeah. Gaurav. Oh, Gaurav, 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 Gaurav. Gaurav. Yeah, Ronnie, Ty, Kita, Jordan, Anna, Angelique, Pokey Han, Steven. I'm really good with names. You're very good. We discussed good. this. Yeah. Yes. And we need you. We need we need <laughs> art directors. Who are good uh, with names. <laughs> we need we need people typing in chat. And uh, we're just happy that you are here, Anthony yes. and everyone. Tell us all the things. Because we're redesigning this experience. Yeah, we're redesigning around this. Us. And this. Yeah, this is gonna redesign here. this. Needs lots of <laughs> Lots of editing, maybe yeah. black bar. I'm gonna don't know, get you like, some Clark Kent glasses. I, yeah, <laughs> Clark Kent glasses. Yeah, it's hard to say actually. Uh, All right. Okay, so yeah, what we're really doing today is gonna be redesigning Stop. Adobe Live, how it looks and shows up on the internet. Yeah, talk it's about some of, the, some of the things that uh, we can change and can't change. Like, I love these floating bubbles behind us. Yeah. Which is part of totally. the current scheme that's, was... that's made by Oddfellows. Anytime you see an intro, that's by Oddfellows. Like, yeah, that's they're an, super that's awesome. That's award-winning package, by the way. Yeah. Which is cool. It's super cool. And we want to incorporate that into the design that we're doing to keep that consistent. And the reason that we're doing a refresh is not because we uh, don't like what we have. It's more because we're a design studio and that's mm -hmm. what we do. We refresh. That's right. Keep ourselves reinventing. That's right. That's right. Cheers to that. Good cheers to that. Here, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, here, here. All right. We did the double drink Sorry. again. We said we, we wouldn't do that, but we did it. <laughs> it totally works. It totally We're works. Like, yeah. Oh no. Amazing. What of us Okay, should so be should we something? hop over to your computer and you're gonna tell us what we're yeah, doing today? He's gonna for be sure. he's gonna be CD today. Yeah, and by all means, Christine, I definitely need you. I need your help. Thank for you. Sure. I'm needed. I feel needed. Because just to kind of like recap where it's at as I kind of like launch a browser, this is gonna get very. Uh, meta for a second, by the way. Ooh, uh, yeah. But we're do talking it. about. Um, I'm, I'm saying, like, within this context, of mm -hmm. course, Behance is a lot of blue. Um, and oh, then hey, look. this here we are. whole creative, crazy experience. Here we are. There you yeah. are. I was like, oh, 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 this, oh, this mm. When I say we, chin. I mean you and me. <laughs> <laughs> but me. But so this is like, I think this is the, this is honestly the biggest problem. Like, this yeah. looks like a mess. Right? It does. And uh, basically, the goal is to unify it. But I really like these because you showed these. You yeah. did a whole creative deck and everything. Yeah, which we can walk through after you're done with this, just okay. to get people on the level set of like why we came to the conclusion of what we need. Yeah, exactly. So, so the thumbnail is my biggest concern is cleaning that up. So yeah, that's, totally. So I was gonna dive in and. Check and that out. what else? Anything else? That's about it. That's about it. All no, right. There's oh, more. You're like, no, there's, there's more. So wait, you want me to? Stuff. I'm gonna do this, and then you can tell us what we're gonna do today. Yeah, can you actually, can, can, yeah. Yeah, can you do that? Let's hop over to my screen. File. So yesterday, yesterday we looked at a brief. So we put together, since Adobe is our client, Paul and I put together a brief to say, okay, so what is the problem and what are we trying to solve? Problem is we want to refresh to again be consistent with our identity, which is on the right. That's the Adobe experience. That's what Summit and Max looks like. You can see there's a lot of black and there's a lot of wild color. So we want to continue to match that. And then what do we have to do? We have to create headshots. Uh, we have to use create thumbnails that are using headshots, segment titles, and product references. And then we have to do that over five different categories. So knowing that, I put together a package of what our assets could be. We have our logos from each program. We have our Adobe Clean font, which is our custom font for Adobe that we can use. We have a bunch of colors that relate directly to the programs that we're working with. And then I pulled some photos of random people that will then embody the idea of designers giving us their headshots and what we have to work with. So sometimes it could be black and white, sometimes it could be up close, it could have overwhelmingly color that might not match with our color palette. Um, it could be far away or it could be up close. So there's a lot of different variations that we can um, actually have to consider when we're creating. 
And then, let's see, let's go back here. I rearranged my artboard last night. Um, and then I also consolidated what the current look and feel is. So currently on the right, this is the page that Paul just showed you. And it's a little bit distracting, although at the same time, most people aren't viewing it as a whole like this. So they're not being that overwhelmed, they're viewing it in thirds. So I would say that, you know, they're not seeing it as crazy as we're looking at it. They mm -hmm. see this. So if that's the case, then how do we consolidate this view into something that is going to be a little bit more recognizable for differentiating each category? So we have our category thumbnails, which they're all really nicely done in the way that they show what the actual work is, like graphic design, illustration, motion, photography, but they aren't really differentiated with color. And that could be an opportunity for us to put a color there to actually direct people to go and signify something by color. And that's just an option. And then one of the things we were tasked to do as well is to create homepage thumbnails for our unique profile channels, which is Better Know a Brush. And this is specifically for Illustrator. Um, and then also, oh, and Photoshop, sorry, it's for illustration. And then also we have for the XD channel, we have designing in Adobe XD. So these are two different areas where we could create something really unique and fun that will be different from our general guest feature mm -hmm. thumbnails, which are these. So these two should share, even though they're for different things or they could be for different things, they should share a look and feel where they could be differentiated by color. How, however, these are gonna be different because it's different content that we're serving up. So there's the need for differentiation. And also a direct link as to why we're creating something distinct and how we unify that across Adobe XD, across Photoshop and Illustrator if we want to then move these into different categories over time. Because we're a show and we're gonna expand. So that is a global branding lesson. <laughs> right, in yeah, yeah. less than five minutes. Cool, so let's put this back so we can have our full feature there. All right, so yesterday we took a look at organizing these by category. So if we do that by category, we start to see some similarities and some consistencies. And then we also see some anomalies. And this is where our conclusion was drawn as far as, okay, so if we're in illustration, it's usually orange to pink. However, there's an occasional area where we have better know a brush and this shows up as its own thing. So we have to make more attention there. And then in graphic design, it's pink to blue or orange to blue. These seem pretty consistent, so good on that. And then over here where it starts to break down is motion graphics. It's usually green to blue, but then there's an occasional purple and blue. So there are some differentiations and anomalies that we want to consider as being more direct and concise and consistent. So what we did is created a key that shows what we need to redesign and then also how we're gonna go about it. So right now we have, um, we have our home design page with our categories. We have our product references, different segment titles, our primary feature show, which this is what it looks like currently. And then we have a what's new add-on, so how can we add something when there's a what's new portion to the show. And then a better know a brush, that's only an illustration. And then photography, creative mornings, and daily creative challenge. And UX has designing in Adobe and daily creative challenge as well. So as you can see, we have a lot of different shows. So this just means you might be watching us today and we're doing this, but look at all the other things you guys can learn just by participating. I mean, like we yeah. have tutorials in every single program possible and it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. And uh, again, we're gonna be live designing uh, and we'll do a random giveaway here in about 20 minutes as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're gonna give stuff away. What are we so giving away? We're gonna, I think we'll give away, I don't know, some stickers, why not? Ooh, how many? We noticed, we noticed on the back of your laptop you could oh, use some. I could use some, I could use a hundred more. <laughs> Maybe someone out there is lucky and they will get a hundred stickers, they'll design me a hundred for my computer. Oh yeah. Oh. And let's just, Let's creepily just rub face. my computer like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Be nice to your computer. I am, I love my computer. It's very nice. Uh, so feel free, uh, be an art director, we'd love your help. Um, I think every, all the principles we talk about uh, over the next hour, two hours, can be applied to pretty much anything. Yeah, right? totally. You and will learn a lot. Like, I think you did a good job of showing like, within context, how is this gonna look? It's like, yeah. you, you step back, look at the bigger picture, we could create pretty graphics all day long, but I think even what I was doing here, this was this was just too much. I 
I think it was like a little too. I liked it. It was. I oh, know. I like that too. Look at that other one. Yeah. Look at you. No, okay, I'm not so even give done. me the reveal. Yeah, no, not it's not even that. <laughs> He's like, it's not done. Stop. Yeah, I'm beautiful. These aren't I know. even the reveals because I think. So, so maybe this is an option, but I have another one that I want. Oh, really? Work on. Is there more and up I your wanna, sleeve? Well, yeah, I'm gonna design. What? That's why I wore a long sleeve shirt. I know. That's why I wear short sleeve time. shirts. There's nothing short up my there's, sleeve. There's no content. There Usually whatsoever. wear sleeveless shirts. So Sheerless, there. And these are cutoffs. Of Sleeveless. <laughs> long sleeve cutoff or cutoffs. We're not wearing pants. We never wear pants. <laughs> It's a thing. Yeah, not around here. Not if you want to get real work done. <laughs> not if time you're. For not if you're. Yeah, that's right. So, but I want to kind of do this. I want to do this, but I want to yeah. do different versions. Is that yeah, okay? I love that. I'm just gonna knock. Okay. Of course, it's knock okay. This I out. love that. All right, cool. So we're gonna be working now. I think should we set in and we go? I'm ready. All right. I'm Are ready we gonna make... do the split screen thing? I'm ready. Today? It's happening right now. Is that a thing? How do How do you guys like that out there in chat? Is it easy to see and easy to Just understand? Make sure you're like zooming in a lot. Oh it yeah. Might a little, Good little call. Bit harder. Oh, much better. Look at that. Yeah. Yours already looks cooler. Look. <laughs> Mine doesn't make any sense. I'm this going is... back to Samander. Ooh. Um. Bember, Bember, Cumber, Cumber Bottom. I like him, that uh, actor, Damn. Bember Cumber Bottom, <laughs> or whomever he is, he's good. Okay, so I'm going to create some, so what I've done here is created a little palette for myself that I can then create multiple concepts for. So I have my key over here where I've got home, all the things I'm working with, all of the references so that I can say, oh, look, this is what Dave Arcade looks like, or oh, look, this is what Picho looks like, Claude Pichet. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have Caitlin Cadeau, and she's in there for motion graphics. Yeah, I really had to squint. Maybe I need the glasses. Here you go. Oh my goodness. Why, thank are, you. Are those yours? No, are they yours? Where no. did these come from? I don't know, but they're awesome. Where did they come from? <laughs> you make a point. <laughs> They look much better on you. Although you do okay. look like a dad now. <laughs> I no, no further down my nose. No offense, dads are super cool. I would look at my my computer screen like this. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking the last night I was looking through the video of um, what Oddfellas had done. And I was like, oh, they have all these cool floaty objects around. So I started to um, create some floaty objects and then I pulled together some Memphis style assets because I thought maybe there could be some sort of floaty thing happening as an option that we then, you know, share with Adobe. And Into that's it. what the, oh, that looks so Into nice. It. Well, I got a, yeah, you just keep uh, working. I was like, me, oh, look. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, cause I'll, t I'll tell you what I'm doing. And I really yeah, like what, me what you did doing. with like this. I'm taking cues from like this. And mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna kinda start at the other end. I didn't like, do that. That's existing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, and that's You're all. like, I like what you did there. I'm like, my job is done. I'm just like taking <laughs> cues from here. Yes, I like that. And then that I'm just too. like Well, we have to build on what's working. And I think that's the thing that you think about when you're creating or rebranding something. Even though this isn't a rebrand, it's a refresh. You have to look at what's successful with that and build on it versus tearing it all down just for design's sake. And that's what makes things successful and move forward because there's a lot of elements that are working strong that we mm -hmm. don't want to change. But how can we do those differently and uh, you know make them make them positive? Yeah. Ooh, I and like I'm, that I'm too. I'm trying to. All right, I got to stop looking at you work so I can actually do some work. You do some work. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing I'll, now? <laughs> you, you you work. Uh -huh. I'm gonna kind of talk through. Yeah, you talk through. What I'm doing. And, Great. And I'll just keep working. And we can keep split screening. Okay. This will be fun. Okay. Cool. Uh, so basically, just just taking like sort of like one main color. So this Michael Shodostari, he is doing UX UI. Shushtari. Shushtari. I need to make up a new name. That's. The there third. But what we have here is just adding a hint to that. So in the background, it's really his art, which could be anything, right? We never know what this is gonna be. Mm -hmm. But the background has to change. The big thing is like, here's a cool, here's the person and here's what they create behind them. And you were doing something similar like this yesterday. And what I have here is just a splash of that color. So this is kind of like where this is at. And then I have an, a new, another idea. This seems very simplistic. But I will bring it right in here into the design and you can see what it looks like. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. I'm gonna drop this in just so we can kind of view it within context. 
I like that. I would say this one is probably my favorite one. All so right, far. what are we doing again? Uh, where are those? There we go. Just so you know, uh, this is kind of what I have so far. I think these two are much Ooh. are stronger because again, we're highlighting the designer mm -hmm. and their work, and then the rest falls away. I'm not, I'm not getting too like overly designed. But then I have another idea, and I'll show you why this works. Ooh, do it. You ready? Okay. Are you showing I'm me? This. I'm kind of talking to you. And Good, because <laughs> I'm listening aggressively. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna duplicate this object. Here's my new one. This is my idea. So I'm like, okay, this is for the general streams. Like we have a guest, this mm -hmm. is what it looks like. He's doing UI UX. I was thinking for Better Know a Brush. So what we do for each segment, each custom segment, is we play with this circle shape, right? So for Better Know a Brush, what we do is we take like a, like a splat. So we'll grab something like this. In fact, I'm gonna layer these two on top of each other. I'll take this splat. And this will be the shape that I use instead of that circle. So Ooh. we'll just scale this up. Forget to not hold down the shift key. And this will be the new shape. So this is just a clipping mask. Rather than using that circle, that's what we're doing. Like so. Kind of like that. So that's that's kind of my idea. Wait for it. I'm still fixing it. I'm still working on it. Let's move that up. Turn that off. You get the idea. <laughs> so this is. I'm just having fun over here. You do your thing. <laughs> I'm like, oh right, Sarah Van Circle Face. Cool. Brush. That's a normal name for designer. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Graphic design. Oh yes. There we go. This is what this is what this was what I was doing. Ooh, is that for better no brush? Yeah. Yes. So oh it's my like, god, I love those things. I feel like that has to be made in Photoshop, like you're doing. It like doesn't. It, no, or, but I what? mean, like it's important that it looks like it's Photoshop looking. Yeah. Because it's better no brush. You know. This is so true. Yeah. The cool thing is, is like again, his names are driving me crazy. We go back to. I'm just gonna put Dave Arcade in here. I I talked to him this morning. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, Dave. <laughs> all right, how are we doing? And how does how's this working? Yeah, tell us more about all the things and maybe we'll consider listening. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> sorry we're not looking up as much yeah, as we Yeah, sorry, should. guys. This is one of those um, <laughs> we're doing it things. We are doing it. We got to make some headway here today. Making headway, guys. Making oh. the heads and the ways. All the heads and ways. Okay, so the thing is, is I didn't I didn't want to drown out the artist's work. I'm oh yeah, and I do. Simple. I'm trying to drown out the artist's work. Okay, you that's and I am for specific okay. reasons, mainly because I'm on the show quite often enough now that I sometimes will work on things and share clips of stuff where I'm like, oh, that's not what I really want to show and have that up forever. But you know, it's cool, but it's not as important as them knowing who I am and my design style in general versus a specific piece of work that I've done. Um, because I'm more than my work. So that's a very, that's mm -hmm. a very um, philosophical way to put, I'm gonna do something different. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I'm more than my work, Paul. I know, I get it. You're like, I get it, I get, I get it, I it. You're right? more. I'm, one thing I wanna do is, um, I think it'd be really cool. I'm mainly just using this as a channel for me to tell Adobe the things that I want them to create in the programs. Um, okay. I think it'd be great if they had the spell check that had the same kind of experience in email when it highlights it when it's wrong while you're typing it. You know? Oh, yeah. Instead of having to go through and spell check everything at once. True. Because I would love that because yeah. I do a lot of typing just small words here and there to do call outs and mm -hmm. I'm a notoriously poor speller when it comes to typing, but I'm a good speller in life, kind of. I did spell cheese with a Z once. I blame Cheez-Its. Well, I mean, these days you get away with it. You just got to do it with conviction. Oh, yeah. yeah cheese is with a Z. Cheese with a Z. We're changing things. Za. <laughs> oh, that's circle face Sarah. I like this. Okay. Um, let's see. Graphic design. All right, so I need to swap out some of these. 
Yeah, you pictures. do. Swap them out, yo. Get swapping. Cool. So I'm in the I'm in the zone where it might not I might not even try and correlate them necessarily with a specific program. That I'm just gonna create colors for the category that I like based on the colors that we have to work with. So it might not always have a correlation to the program, but it has a correlation that it will be consistent. And sometimes that is enough. Because we're not selling food. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. That's good too, I like that. Thanks, it's coming along. Let's see what's next. Oh, this one, and then XD. All right, so my artboard needs a little bit more, so I'm just gonna stretch that out. Whoop with a graph. Oh, I did what you did. Whoop, 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 and unlock that. I like to lock things. Sometimes Whoa, instead Grand, of making Grand water. Freud has to go to work in five hours and has what? to go to sleep. Grand Freud. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Sleep's overrated. Sleep is overrated. In fact, I really would like more sleep. I am thinking it's actually not overrated these days. Um, let's see, what gradient have I not used? Red? No. I, I do have, so yeah, then, yeah. I think it's, I think maybe in like five minutes or so, after chat and win, we should like do a recap and oh, see yeah, where we're at. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Okay. okay, so we're just gonna do some work, guys. Feel free to um, Talk stare at yourselves. us. <laughs> Talk Feel free to stare at us <laughs> while we work. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. So much work to do. Paul, we could talk to each other. That's always fun. We could. Yeah, that way at least there's some dialogue uh -huh. happening because I sure do like to talk. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's Especially when it's quiet sense. in this room because we don't have I know, any music. it's real quiet here, guys. This is not natural. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so illustration. All right, I've got to type the right things in here. That would help me. Motion graphics. What else? Photography. Oh no. That is photography. Are they out of order? They are. I'm doing them out of order. Chat and win in about five minutes. So yeah, just kind of, uh, like I said yesterday, people are asking if they like Photoshop or Illustrator better. Uh, Christine's working in Illustrator, and on the, the right side above me is, uh, well, yeah, Photoshop. Just FYI, and uh, yeah, that's what's happening. Use whatever works. I'm an illustrator or die kind of person. Like, to the point where. I feel like everything starts in Illustrator. It, you're right, that's where time like, began. Everything else is just an output. All, like, all ideas <laughs> originate in Illustrator. Pretty much Illustrator was there at the beginning then, of the time, and it's just gotten better. But I've also heard uh, like proponents of like say InDesign. What now? I've heard proponents of InDesign <laughs> call Photoshop and Illustrator just plugins. Oh, they're oh. just plugins <laughs> for InDesign. Oh, you that's just cute. Plug in, you just drop in a, a PSD or you know Illustrator file, for instance. That's very cute. And whoever said that, no. He was the old product manager for InDesign, basically. Oh. <laughs> so naturally, well, naturally, good. You, you true. Def, I you mean, like I am product. just as adamant about Illustrator as they are not. Okay, so now I've got this working. Now I'm cooking with gas. So look out. Yeah, you look out, world. <laughs> There's a flame here. I just gotta <sighs> switch these up. I'm sure everyone in chat that I'm not noticing, they're like, do it, switch I it like up. I like your little circles, though. Thank you. It's kind of a update to where we're at right now. I kinda but wanna do something like that, too. Do a different version of it for Build a Brush. <laughs> Yeah, like compared oh, right. to Actually, your... Yeah, I like your Build-A Brush, like, don't touch it. My Build-A Brush is nice. <laughs> it's but this pretty one's, good. This one's kind of You boring. do have a nice Build-A Brush. I do have a nice Build-A Brush. I like I've that, been that's told that super before. cool. Yeah, I bet you it's have. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Build-A Brush. Mm-hmm. Now I know when I don't have a comment, I just um, drink my soda. Or, well, my sparkling water, my La Croix. La Croix. That is how you pronounce it, by the way. It is, it's, it's just like nice. De Trois. La Croix. Okay. I mean, so you I'm have been to, to France. Feel... I have. Is that what you say after like, oh, but I've been to France. <laughs> <laughs> that would be something my mom would do. She'd be like, oh no, I've been to France. I've, oh, <laughs> I've been to France. 
<laughs> in high school it's on a field totally trip. totally fine. She's like, trust me, I have friends who are French. I know. She's the cutest person in the world. If you are just joining us, by the way, this is day two. Uh, you check out the replay later on, maybe tonight after we leave. You can check out the replay from yesterday. Yeah. We're going to, into tomorrow, FYI. And uh, please let us know if you're like new uh, to uh, Adobe Live. Yeah, let us know us. how new you are. We want to. We want to haze give you, you. Give you a warm welcome, <laughs> and we really appreciate all the regulars here. So it makes makes us feel at home. It does. You know, you work you work from home, right? Totally. You're, you know I do. You see the value in just kind of having something like this on and. <sighs> yeah, all the time. Cool. Um, I think I'm gonna lead with a darker color. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm actually grabbing some of these elements from the uh, video. This odd Oh, fellows. cool. See, I really you like... can do that. That's super cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking I like with your... these um, circle gradient things where uh -huh. I'm like, oh, okay, I want to put that thing here and create something that is more about these circles or maybe some warped looking. I'm going to do another version where mm -hmm. there's these warpy super fun. circles and then possibly put in a little exactly. bit of this Memphis design that could float and animate over time I love on it. top of it. So it's like boop, 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 boop. Yeah, so I'm going to dress it up. And that's what I. That's and what you I, can dress it up and dress it down. Yeah, just like me. <laughs> Brands are like people, though. I think that's the thing we all yeah. need to remember. Is that uh, brands are people too? <laughs> brands are people too. Yeah. But I like what you're doing there. I think that's really. I even just incorporated that into mine. Just, but I just did circles. Oh, good. But I cool. like the idea because my circle. Oh, that's so great. Boring. Yeah. I like that though Otherwise because that's the same as the um, mm -hmm. the intro, but flat. And hey, the, Dave Arcade. The <laughs> he's like, how dare you use that photo and it's not me? <laughs> you're right. I should Dave go Arcade, get a photo of Dave are, Arcade. Hold on. You are popular here, by the way. So super glad to have you. Uh, just so you know, so this was the original idea of even for all the Odd Fellows. The direction they got was very much like a planetary, creating a world, a community. So mm -hmm. that's what this is emphasizing. Amazing. So I have a real photo. But I like of your Dave blobbies. <laughs> My blobbies? I like Thanks. your little blobbies. I like your blobbies too. See, this is a perfect example of when you have a headshot that is a thumbnail that someone, that's all they've got. See, poor Dave only has that photo. So um, now Dave, I'm gonna is use that, that really, photo. Is that what he really looks like? Yeah. What? You met Dave Arcade? Is he okay? Oh, you're oh, so funny. Jerk. Jerk. I'm sorry, Dave. Total jerk. I'm doing it because he's here. Oh, he I know, here I know. But this is a good example of showing, okay, I have to make a template that works for even little thumbnail headshots. So does it work? And I'm like, yeah, actually, I think it holds up. He still looks good in those two circles. And um, it's Dave, accurate. I just got, I got, I got uh, beard envy. This is cool, I know. Like, he has an epic beard, by the way. Just, just right. Yes. And he's a... I was gonna swear, but he's a kick butt illustrator. <laughs> he's a kick butt illustrator. Yeah. <laughs> kick butt. Um, he does a lot of robots and like super cool retro looking posters that are just like all a la my childhood. If you guys haven't seen them, they're so cool. Every time he posts one, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> that oh. man split apart. Um, I want to show a quick tip real fast. If I yeah, can. tip it up. So just if you could switch to my yeah. screen real fast, because I think this is like pretty important. Like I want to do some kind of inter interplanetary like uh, like a line. So you could typically draw with really anything. Use the pen tool. I want to create a circle, right? Because I want kind of more of an orbiting thing. Mm -hmm. And you could actually take the fill right here. You're probably wondering what's the difference between opacity and fill. Fill is going to be the actual I fill of that, that layer. So cool, I'll take that all the way down to like nothing. Yeah. But then I can add a layer style to it. And mm. at this point, that's where I'll add the stroke. And now all of a sudden I have that stroke without the need of doing anything more complex. Oh. It's super easy. Wait, right? wait, what is the difference between fill and opacity? Fill again? is going to be the fill of whatever that element is. Mm -hmm. Typically it's going to be a vector layer. Yeah. It's going to be the fill of that content. Yep. Right? But it doesn't affect any of the uh, effects beneath. Oh, So as cool. I take that down to 50%. You can so still I, get like 100% of a shadow. Yeah. That's, the, the opacity got is it. overall for the layer. That is Fill brilliant. is going to be typically for the. I've always wondered about that because I'll alter between the two sometimes. And even though, you know, even though I might be considered a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's been assumed I, before. Sometimes I'm like, hmm, why am I using fill versus opacity at this very point in given mm. time? And now I know. Yep. Oh, it's like it's orbiting. Oh, it's oh, time. Yeah. Chan win. Okay, fireworks. Blue. That's what we're trying to make. Ooh, I'm trying fireworks. to make that. I want to make that. I want to okay, make that. Okay, who wants to win? Chat with us. All right. 
Let's do it. Welcome back, everybody. Hi, welcome back. We're here. Felix is doing it correctly. Yes, Good luck, Felix. everyone. It's Good luck. Positive, short. Positive. He has hip, entered hip, to hooray, win. Anthony King. Oh, oh I could do the. In. Oh, wow. These are too Hello, many names. Curl. I can't Easy read that curl. fast. Whoa. Calm down. Is, I think a cat's Tatum, walking on Ryan, his keyboard. Tatum, Darren. Not, I, Gary, did he fall asleep on his keyboard? Richard. Gladson. Oh, these are good names. Fortuny. I love that one. Pew Pew stickers. Again, that's pew, what you're pew, pew, entering pew, to pew. win. 100, 100 stickers. 100 from, Pew Pew stickers. From Sticker Mule. Sticker Mule. And you know what? We even have something for those who don't win, which is kind of awesome. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And but when we say not winners, we mean us. Yeah. Oh, exactly. yeah. And you. <laughs> We've tried. We, we try tried. to win every time. I'm every always time. entering my name. I'm like, I yeah. want to win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying so hard. So it's hard. Tough. Yeah. So good to so, have you here. How's it going, Paul? Good. Yeah? I don't know. Should Remember we when we did this thing? Get oh, oh yeah, here we go. Gladstone Davis. Gladstone Davis. Congratulations, Gladstone <laughs> Davis. I really like that name. Maybe that'll I be a too. name in one of, you Yes, know, that's going to be one of the names in my mock-ups now. I won't have Sarah Van Circle Face. I'll have Gladstone Davis. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. That is Van one. Circle Face. Van, Van Circle that's Face. Hilarious. Congratulations, well, Gladstone. Gladstone. You, could, you could put a... Put, if a, you, put a face in a circle and you get that printed up as stickers. hundred of them, If you didn't fact. win, you can go to stickermule.com backslash Adobe Live 19 for this year, and you'll get a discount on stickers. I think you get some free stickers, right? Like 10 well, free stickers? 10, 10 for a buck. 10 for a Which buck? That's like, practically that's free. Like pocket change. I mean, that's less than an old Twinkie in a bodega. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. You had to think about that. I did. I'm like, is that what they're going for? But you these know days? what? I got your attention, and that's what counts. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right. Into so, it. So, um, back to your orbit. No, that's what I was okay. saying. Okay, your orbiting just, is mainly the fill, the fill trick. And I and taking am... cues from you because this is just nice. Ooh, I like this because like, when you work together. with a partner, you get to see what's working, and then you're like, "Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna do that here." And then I'm like, "Oh, I love your gradient and the way you're doing the background mm -hmm. a little bit less um, prominent." Yeah. So, and that build a brush. I'm and just not even gonna tackle build a brush. Still, where that's coming from yeah. is this. I really like this overlay that they had. Mm -hmm. Like they're they're not highlighting the design. They're highlighting the artwork. Totally, but they're only doing that for the channel of the category where we yeah. should be doing it, like where you're doing it on the on the actual thumbnails, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't matter at the category. That's actually, um, I think the categories should be much more plain. And I'll tell you why. Strategically, yeah. I think so. I'm going to tell okay. you why. Please um, do. This is one option. And again, there's always reasons that you can validate in every which direction. The reason that I think that the category thumbnails, like graphic design, illustration, motion graphics, should be flat color or something that is less <laughs> uh, graphically inclined is because there's a lot of variation that happens within those programs and within the shows. And if we only show one aspect of what we create, then that could deter people from clicking on that. And you know, you have to think about your audience and who's going to come in there. So if you see on my screen right now, the before and after of, okay, so this is where they're at, but that doesn't really tell me a lot. But this doesn't tell me anything less. This just tells me that it's graphic design. So therefore I'll click on it. The difference is, is that this tells me a little bit of confusion and graphic design. So this is more clear. Therefore, maybe that is a good proposal for how we move ahead. Yeah, I really, I really like this. It's yeah, almost too. Then it's it's, it's too simple. Spe it's too specific. When I see a graphic back there, I almost yeah, think that I think I'm gonna click. I know. And, and view that. I think portfolio. it's exactly because Behance has so much work that I'm like, oh, is it just print? And I'm like, but graphic design is more than print. We're very layered people. Mm -hmm. And you know, motion graphics, I mean, we're doing so much there that this isn't even in motion, so it can't do it justice. So therefore, I don't want to think about that in a way where it could be flat, even though it has to be a flat icon. Or does it? Hmm. Yeah. Or now does it? Now my mind's breaking. Now I know. I was like, it's <laughs> breaking down. Hey, Kerwin, how are you? Ooh, set to piano. Dave Arcade is back. Thanks, Dave. I feel like I'm a smart lady sometimes. Mm hmm. Dave. Mm -hmm. Arcade. And Picha, Eduardo, Gladstone, Garav, Paul, ooh, yeah, Ashi, all the people. I'm just saying names now to rub it in that I can oh. say them. 
you again. I'm like, my name game is on, Paul. I'm not. Ah! Sometimes I'm like, what is? How do I pronounce your name? It's but that's what's so charming about you. Dav. I actually Dave? don't think that you can't Dave? pronounce it. I think that it's a glasses issue. You can't read them from this distance. <laughs> I, those aren't even yours, and I don't think they're prescription. <laughs> Oh, it's Dave. Dave. I thought yeah. it was Dave. See, look at this. I apologize. Oh, make it important though. Like, do the Clark Kent thing. Oh. Yes. Tell me something important. We're getting down to business. I don't have time for this. I have to design. Don't you know? We have important design decisions to make. <laughs> I'm doing it. We're doing it. So that was just that was our little show right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us online. <laughs> It'll be yeah. super exciting. Oh. oh, really? Don't worry. We're not crazy. No. <laughs> oh, I promise funny. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Too funny. So my my idea here, by the way, can mm -hmm. I just talk about this? Yes, talk about it. Is... I'm gonna keep working. Okay. Are you um, talking to me? Well, to you and well, and like everybody. But yeah, right. to you if I could if I could get your attention real fast. Okay. Yeah. So we have this. This is like oh, not that one. We have the fundamental. This one, mm -hmm. the Samantha, mm -hmm. which I'm changing now. I apologize. Oh, Gladstone Shoestar. She's her family is just growing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's getting married. I know. Her family's getting bigger. I know. So she's uh, all these sisters. But this is so. This is the generic one. Better no brush. We're changing that shape to this. Mm -hmm. And then so for this one, I'm going to do the uh, oh the daily the, UX like UI. Daily UX yes. UI. Or there's also the other one, which is Adobe Designing in XD. Yeah, designing There's two of in those. XD. Yeah, that's, so that's you're creating, I like that. And it's gonna be a different shape right here. And they should be it's totally gonna be more different. Like angular. But I do like that we're kind of coming up to the conclusion that circles are the theme. I think so. It seems I think it's like a it's, good, it's like it's if. It's consistent if, with our Odd Fellows uh, intro. Mm -hmm. But um, oh God, we can not change it up. And one of the things I might do is change it up in some of my explorations. You so. should. And yeah. I wanna show another trick. Oh, it's going to be it awesome, by the way. This is so cool. So here I have a situation where I want to have a bunch of shapes independently that are going to be treated as a mask uh -huh. for this one photo. I hear you. Okay. So this case, again, I have, let me get this to a point where I like it. I have these two shapes. Let's turn off this. These are my two shapes. Take these, Command G, put them in a group. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring these down. And these, everything in this group, this is gonna be treated as the mask. So right here, I turn that into a clipping mask on a group. Boop. And now we have that. We have two independent objects underneath. I could adjust these any way I want. And by the way, we do the same thing with this gradient. Like that, like that. And again, this is pretty awesome being able to, let me click this in, wait for it. Clipping mask, and I'm just actually holding down the option key and clicking on the lines between those two uh, layers, and that makes that a mask. But this is important because I'm going to start playing with all these shapes and trying to make this look, uh, you know, a little more UX UI, mm -hmm. more a yeah, little bit, little, appropriate little, for what you're doing. I yeah, get you. a little harder edged, maybe not as yeah. flowy as the brushes. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got for you. I like it. I am down with what you're doing. I just had a thought on, um, I'm gonna be looking at how we incorporate multiple people. So if we have another person in here, and if it's a two person show, like us right now, doo -doo -doo -doo, how will we do that? So I am just going to do that right now. And, do it. and explain it extremely slowly while I talk <laughs> no, through it no. like I am a robot. We know you're stall like you know you're like trying like, and to I'm think doing this of words as I open as a file. I, yeah, words <laughs> are happening. Does not compute. Yeah, this guy looks friendly. He's like, hey guys, how's it going? I work in an office. This is the office I work in. Okay, so we've got that. Let's see. Hopefully, this person would supply us with a better headshot that's not so close in because they're friends. And they work together. They are friends. So friends. they would probably be like this guy. Doop, doop, doop. These guys work together. What? He's like, oh. He's like, oh, ah, not, not this guy this again. This guy again. Oh. <laughs> so this is one way that we could look at dual photos of pairing people up, like you and me, or these two guys. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, sometimes that gets cut off in that guy's face, but it's kind of the whole thing. It's cool. Boop, boop, boop. Not that. 
I like it when graphics go through people's eyes. Right there, there we go. Boom, make it very apparent that it's going through his eyeball. <laughs> I'm like, and I did it, successful right. eyeball graphic. But that's, uh... <laughs> right through the retina. <laughs> <laughs> and then those are my parents. <laughs> now I made them my parents. <laughs> Rick and Terry parents. <laughs> Rick and Terry parents, yep. But that's their last that would, name, right? Yeah, parents is their last name. Obviously, it's technical <laughs> it's term. Always, always confused for always actual confused. parents. Yeah. I'm like, you guys don't even know. All right, so these would be, let's see. Uh, I need some more fun there. graphics here. Yeah, you do. I was gonna say something. I need some fun graphics. <laughs> I need some interesting names. All right, we're gonna go with Heidi. Heidi's a good or name. Or Kroll uh, oh, go Callardon. With... I'm gonna go with Heidi, Heidi what Morrow. What about Paul Alvarez the third? I like that, because it's good. a third. Paul, I know Paul. Do you? What's up, Paul Alvarez? What's up, Paul? Oh, hey, Tim Mobist. Wait, he says Mobest. That is a That is an error. It should be Mobist. <gasps> oh. Right through the retina. <laughs> De depending on who you're talking to. I oh, that's it. cool. I like that, Paul. Let's do Paula. That's, yeah, the thing that's is, confusing I'm not... me because I said Paul and then I was looking at Paul yeah. and then you're here. And I don't think it's 100% organic. Or like, I want it to look, you know, organic and, you know, like. Yeah. It's not organic, but, you know. Stuff like it, and things. It's a mechanical thing that changes, yeah. like XD. I don't know if it's XD enough, so I'm open to, that's why I love what you're doing, like these little things down there. Yeah, I might add them in as like little, uh, oh, as I go away from them, I'm like, I might add them in. Um, these little pieces mm -hmm. I might add in to make look and feel mm -hmm. like they could have motion to them, and maybe that's something we use ah, in an intro. That's what I need. Motion? I, I need a little, I need some little arrows like you, like I just oh, saw yeah, on yeah. your screen. Totally. Get it. Get them arrows. Okay, fact, so this would be a double name. Can so. we do? Can we do something real fast? Yeah. In mind. Mm -hmm. Are we going on your screen? No, we'll stay on your screen, but just put those in the CC library. Oh yeah, totally. This is how we Especially, do it. Especially, I will just take all of them. Yeah, that works. Yep. Here, and what I'm gonna do is, oh, not asset export, right? Uh, libraries, just below that. Library. Uh, and then uh, I know you got yeah, yeah, yeah no 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 this one right? no do the other one. This one. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna just bring this out here so you guys can all see it. So we're sharing a library right now, so how should I go about it? Just add content? Just, yeah. Great, graphic, boom. Oh, look at that, they're all mm -hmm. in there now. Yep. Where? where they're at they the bottom. Oh, I'm like, where are they? <laughs> Technically, I started grouping you see them? That they're I don't see them. They're that, oh, here. Because they're, it's really Can you long. ungroup them? I'll take care of it. Oh, okay, cool. It's probably better that they're grouped anyway. <laughs> Less for you to import individually. Cool. So that happened. Now he's got that it. That happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want these too? Well, you get when you get there, you let me know. Yeah, I mean, I'm like I'm happy to share everything. Yes. I mean, you could just if you click and drag them in there. That's uh, they will magically appear. And here. Sam, shush, darling. <laughs> I should probably. The family something. is growing. The family just keeps getting bigger. Let's see. Um, oh, Anel. I know Anel. Anel Henning. There we go. Anel will be there, and then who else? Uh, oh, the beast is back. Tim the Mo beast. The beast is back. Tim Mo Beast with an L Henning. This could be fun. I would watch that show. I kind of yeah. don't mind sometimes when things go over images. It's kind of normal to me, but that's just the designer of me being like, I like what I've done. <laughs> that is a mistake. Do you ever talk yourself into liking a design just because no. you don't want to change it? <laughs> no, never anymore. I used to do that a lot early uh, in my career where I would even try And that's try annoying. And it's bad. I, you can't do that. I, I actually used to have a problem with some people even explaining designs. No, if you have to explain you, too deeply. I mean, strategy, yes. Yeah. Because you need to have a founded reason, but. But that was, that. my problem was I was I was ignoring the strategy. I'm yeah. like, I was like, when I was younger, I was just like, here's, oh, me the, too. here's the design. You it, was, it was you like, like, this it? is cool. What do you think of this? It's pretty cool. I, everybody goes through that because you're learning design. And this is what I think art school taught me is it taught me how to explain what I knew how to do like intuitively. Oh yeah, that's like, what it taught me work why taught me. I did <laughs> what I did. I was like, art school <laughs> taught me how to get deadlines done. <laughs> True. And how to make friends, kind how of. Make friends. <laughs> It's true, it's like all those social skills. Again, That's right why through I... the right through the face. I like this. I'm like, ooh, through the face graphic. Yes. Successful number two. Oh yeah. I'm seeing that this is either a problem or an enhancement. So there are ways around that. We could make it more nice for her. Or we could even go flipsies and be like, look, it works. 
There we go. And what if it, yeah, that works. It works. It works because it's graphic and we're incorporating them into the design. I like it. Okay. But this would need to get smaller, and I think what we would do is rag that in a way where lines get broken. And how does it work when we have enough room here to show multiple lines of text without interfering? So this is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna tighten up the letting the, just cause it feels a little bit wonky. Mm. Adding those arrows that you made. Yeah, arrow making, heart breaking. All right, I think I know which one you like better. Yeah, you already know. Which out of oh. these out of these two arrows, we have this set uh -huh. and this set. Oh, I like both of them together. Okay. Like the way that it is right now. Okay. I'll I like the well. difference having like option because then yeah. it's not too heavy, not too light. It's both. I'm trying to sort of hint to like a scroll bar as something interactive. Mm -hmm. Anel said she always wanted to be a blonde. Anel, this one isn't you. This is Tim Mobiste. <laughs> 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 that's Tim. He's the woman that's blonde. <laughs> and Dave Arcade is this woman with a hat on. And these are my parents. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Heidi. And, and she's talking about my, my design. You know what's wrong with my design? Hmm. The angle of these lines. Yeah are different than the background Oh, but lines. that's what we have to work with because any sort of image but, back there will be different. But actually, I, I did. I would I would just take it in and make sure it's there. Oh, uh, got do. it. So yeah. But it like, might be like a logo that they've designed that's back there. That's the I thing. I would still like, make it crooked. You never know. True. True. But great eye. Thank great you so eye. much, Heidi. Yes. Happy to have such smart people here, Voodoo Vals. No exception. She's incredibly Hi, talented. I loved your uh, I love your stuff on uh, Twitter today. I saw some. Yeah. She's still so well with her. She's cool. Uh, illustration. Okay, so I think I've got an idea working here. I kind of want to see how it plays out, and maybe I'm gonna bring in um, a black bar to the bottom of these. Or actually, no. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't know. I'm gonna try a couple things. That's what I'm gonna do. So how was everybody's week? Yeah, tell us. How are you doing? Do you think this is too much with that? I'm gonna move these now that I have all my categories created. And these, and that. This is another shortcut I use all the time, by what the way, uh, in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. If you go transform, which is Command T, and then if you right click, uh, that's how you flip yes. things, right? Which is kind of nice. You're so flip good. It back. And then we're like twins. Yeah, we are. We're kind of related. Mm, it's weird. We're kind of related. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, hey guys, look, we, we wore the same we outfit. We finish each other's sandwiches. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I wanted actually it. actually said that in a speech before. Yeah. We finished the sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, it has to be different. Can't be the same. Yeah. Otherwise, it's same. not funny. It's true. This is 100%. Oh, I like that. That's looking good. And that's for the daily designing in XD, right? Or no? Ooh, no, but it, it should, should be. be. Yeah, that's why is that what, not? I thought that was designing an XD. Well, it boom, so, two birds, one stone. Hold on. You just hold designed on. a whole new show. Well, mm -mm -mm -mm. it could do yeah. our jobs, yeah, right. it getting could be. things done. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's a little happy dance. I was like, that's one less thing we have to do. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up my artboard so that I can look at this as though I was the client and present it to myself and be like, do I like the way this looks? Does it sit well? I don't know. Do I feel good about it? Maybe. And I have a bunch of things that I've just got floating around down there. So I like keeping the before, after. I'm gonna put my new back in here. New. Okay. And I'm gonna recenter these just to give myself some space. So this could be one way of going about it. What do you think about that line at the bottom? I added that in to tie it into this, but I'm not sure if it's distracting. I think it's I think it's very grounding. That's yeah, why I like it. Yeah, that's what I thought too, because and that's it's why... not so like, it's considered, you uh -huh. know, because otherwise it's just a square. Well, it's not square, it's a rectangle, but it's just a shape that mm -hmm. feels like it doesn't really have purpose, like it was just thrown together. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, and I was just thinking through some of the things. I was, I was thinking, do you, too, do you do round, round the side, or you could, oh yeah, do you round the top two corner? That's not even well, a good idea. Another, well, I don't know. Another thing I was thinking is, hold on, I'm going to show you another option. Um, if we did, oh, I meant to not do that. Okay, so if we did this, which would match what we're doing in the thumbnails. Oops, not that either. Um, I was thinking of doing something like that too, but I don't really think I like that. Where it's to the side, and then we could always put like a. Yeah, I don't like. I this. don't like that either. It's already looking bad. Ugh, bad I idea. Bad idea. Uh, revert. Revert. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I would just say like, I mean, yeah. And then, there were some tweaks, but otherwise I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get that one. I think those are done. So then what we can do is we have these here. So this is saying, okay, we could put one of these in here if we need to. And then maybe make it, mm, it looks, or maybe we put it up here. I kind of like that. That's nice. Okay, let's see how this works if I throw all these in there. Because then this will actually give people the idea of what it is they're working on at all given times. There we go. Oh, I like that. But wait, are we gonna do the better, or not better photo brush, um, the designing an XD? That is so cool with the new background. <sighs> that feels XD-ish. Yeah, and yeah. that's the problem, because I was just, I haven't Yeah, before it wasn't, point. this feels so right on for XD too, because it's really getting deep, and it makes it look fun, and XD mm-hmm. should be fun. Yeah, I think And so. right now, it currently, like, let's take a look on my screen at the current look of the designing for XD. This is what it currently looks like. And then show them yours. Maybe we can do a side by side. Oh yeah. Right? Now that speaks to designing for XD or the and XD again, Daily Creative looks, Challenge It does too. look kind of large, by it the does, way. It does, but, but I'll, you know. It's, there, I'll, I'll, now I, it's I, I would actually, I would do some, because this is different, but. Well, we and need, we don't we have the title in there yet, so that would change. It wouldn't be Paul I would, Alvarez. I it would, would flip be, this. Yeah. I would do. I would flip it too. Designing. And then he would be in the. Yeah. Yeah, small type, yep. Agreed. 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 We agree to agree. We are so this. good. It's like some days you know what you're doing, mm-hmm. and then other days you're like, what, what? is my name? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, how do so. I pronounce my name? <laughs> how do I do this? What is going on? Why am I here? <laughs> So what I like to do is make these little artboards and then I will capture them and I will drag them and recreate them all new. So yeah, doop, doop, doop. making a new one. What do you think of this, Paco? <laughs> yeah, oh, Paco. Oh, he's not here, sorry. Oh, like, sorry. oh, maybe we can do the but split. Let's do split. The, the issue right here is that you sometimes don't have, it's sometimes not Talon. Wads yeah, Talon Wads. Worth. What's that? Oh. So you could substitute that out and just say Adobe XD team. Totally. Like that's your generic version. Totally. But this is, again, we'll just pretend like this is uh, Talina. Tawina? Tawina. Like Talina. Talina. Wadsworth. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple more crazier options where I get into optioning. All right. Ooh, Guarav, our art director, is back. Oh, yeah? And I mean that in, in the, the nicest, nicest way. way. We just yeah. like to call you our art director because, you know, yeah. it's fun. Uh, and I surely, let me try to go grab, let's just go out to the interwebs and grab uh, Talon. Talon. Mm-hmm. Let's see, what am I doing here? Uh, yes. I'm like, what am I doing here? <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't normally do this, but what? we need this. We need this ha- handsome man. Let's get Talon in there. Talon. Okay. And bring the lining up. I should make this a color so I can see what I'm doing because this is nearly impossible. Okay. Ah, uh, the workarounds. There we go. Okay, thoughts on this? Thinking. Oh yeah. Do I, should, that I take, is, should I take out the width? Yeah. Because you don't really need yeah, it. Yeah, we okay. don't need the width because then it looks like it's with Wadsworth and Talon is his middle name. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, with Wadworth? <laughs> <laughs> Which would be horrible. That would be horrible, but fun. What if your name was Paul, my, like my name was Paul, last name? Oh, <laughs> that'd be so cruel. I know. Your terrible parents would do that to you. Let's do that. Paul and I are gonna have a kid just to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, just, last name. Just to <laughs> mess with him. Yeah, right? We'll just adopt somebody on <laughs> chat and be like, you are now our child. <laughs> and, and, and I apologize in advance. Yes, sorry. Not sorry. Okay. This one doesn't already work for me and I already don't like it. So that's a lot of already's. <laughs> me, Talon, look at that, some fancy. Switching. Yay. So Paul, what are you up to this weekend? Anything fun? No, well, I'm just gonna go to a, uh, my niece's high school graduation. Oh, that's pretty and cool. And I'm gonna sing karaoke. <gasps> karaoke I love song. Karaoke. Go. What's the what's your go-to karaoke song? Oh, what's going Let's on? Biden for non blondes. What? Oh, you get to belt that out. Oh yeah, you nobody's do. Nobody's business. Yeah, exactly. I love it. All I want to do is yell <laughs> all the time. I have a lot to say. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I do a lot of 80s hair, hair oh, bands. Oh, of course you do. Like, I would totally see that. That would yeah, be amazing. You, you'd rock of, that. A lot of Journey. Um, oh, I love Journey. We built the city on the rock and roll that like, yes. I don't know, just like, we oh yeah, Jill a Journey. And that, but I substitute a lot of the lines like on the spot. Of course you would. This doesn't about work. About whoever's in the room. Oh, I love that. So it's pretty fun. So what did I do? I built the city on a computer. <laughs> We built this city on a computer, in a computer. <laughs> I don't know. It already is falling apart. I don't know. Help Your song out. looks like this option of my design. <laughs> Not That's so right. great. <laughs> so I wanted to stress test and see if other shapes would work beyond circles, and so far, no. So I'm getting rid of them. Boom. Shapes that don't work. I think the shape actually it's, could work. It's just it has to be more simplistic. I'm also thinking about, so at the end of the day, poor uh, uh, poor Adobe Live team has to kind of like implement this. Yeah, how so do they just, implement it exactly? Yeah, and actually that's where Illustrator excels. Like I could really screw them up. Yeah, like I go crazy in right? Photoshop, as I do. You're like, as I want. <laughs> but I think that's but, where the specific shows might be fun to have something a little bit more unique, you know, where we are using Photoshop because it's more expressive. Yeah, and um, just not, I'm trying to not make it to where it's like impossible to maintain, basically. Yeah, totally. Because again, I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to make enemies here. <laughs> You're like, but kinda. But kinda a little bit. Sorry, <laughs> sorry team. Yeah, sorry team. Okay, so I'm just making a new uh, box here where I'm gonna test out a couple things, see what this looks like. Let's throw some color on it so I'm not designing in black. Um, okay. Usually when I go large too, when I mm -hmm. go with a large, like um, just the big headline, mm -hmm. I usually, do you, I don't know if there's a hard and fast rule. Hmm. I was gonna do initial caps. Cause I think if it's large mm. and all caps, it's just like hard slapping you in the face. Yeah, it's hard to like read. It's, yeah, and it's hard to read, exactly. Yeah, it, uppercase is meant for yelling and it is more difficult to read um, yeah. from what we know, yeah. So I'm going to clean that out. I'm going to expand these shapes. Well, actually, first, I'm going oh. to do all of these so I can do them consistently at the same time. I'm going to make this a little bit thicker so it doesn't lose shape. Because what I'm noticing is when I did this one, it's losing shape. Um, hmm. How am I going to go about this? Actually, this I take that system. back. I should probably make this specific. I think Re Renee DeCherry, she hosts the Better Nova brush. Oh, cool. But she, she usually like highlights an artist but it works in both cases. Ooh. So like sometimes you're, whoever she's highlighting, they will be in the slide, but if it's maybe just her, then you put in her name. Cool. But, so I might need to grab grab that info. Renee Desherry. Yeah, such a cool name. Such I, a cool I'd pick name. that. I would too. All right, just made these little guys the circles. Yeah, Ronnie, Ronnie, let us know what you mean by that. Maybe less. Mm -hmm. Lines inside the shapes. I agree. I oh yeah, that. totally. I was with you on that one, Ronnie. I think it's a delayed response. I killed those because there were too many lines. Um, so now it's just one line. We will overlap. I'm gonna see what. This... I have a question for you. Yeah. And I think I know the answer. Yeah. I want to. This needs more depth because mm -hmm. it's flat. Yeah. 
So. <laughs> oh, that's the that's, I guess it that's was rhetorical. All I got. No, 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 but like <laughs> okay, so the, but the tricky thing is is like how can you give it more depth still have it flat though? Mm. Is the goal cuz I'm still mm -hmm. going to have it match this this whole style of this video. Uh layers of all color. Of this, yep. Layers exact, of color exactly instead right. of pattern cuz yeah. pattern will just make it too busy, you but if we do layers of color, it. we could definitely do that. And depth of the color. Like I liked one of the things you're doing in the other one, this gradient. Mm -hmm. So that specific gradient helps to add both differentiation, depth, and color. I would yeah. like to. And they love that brush treatment. I mean, boom. Boom. <laughs> boom, winning. All right, what would it be for motion graphics? I feel like this one is something where it could be like multiple shapes. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oops. And this is where we get into like fun. Okay. Cool. Here's a case. Here's another. T here's a. I got a little quiz. Yeah? I got a quiz for everybody. Yeah. Quiz. Ready? Up. Switch to my screen real fast as you design away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like over. making shapes. I'm like ee. <laughs> I want to make. Oh, actually. So I want to make this white without opening up Illustrator. I want to make it semi-transparent white. So this is what typically what I would do. It's like. I would take this, again, if we take the fill down to zero, it's going to disappear, right? This specific shape that you can't even see anymore. Let's move this over. Um, wait for it, wait for it. Waiting. On hold. Where, Where the heck did my... Yeah, oh, where did your stuff go? Why there are goes. you okay, so... Okay, so this is what I'm working on. <laughs> I'm basically going to... I'm going to turn this white. I'm going to do a fill layer, color overlay. You get it. I'm eventually actually going to do a gradient. So let me, just, let me do this as fast as possible. Yeah, right? Go. Speed of light. Do it. Do it. Light speed going now. White to transparent. Click OK. Done. Still fades to black. We take that fill down to zero. And so that was the question. Mm. It's like, how do you change the color? You take the fill down to zero, but you give it an overlay of a color. Cool. And that just kind of gives me this little like highlight that I'm going to work on next. We'll make this like a touch smaller. Ideally, actually, ultimately, I want to paint this. It would be just like much better, but. Anyway. I like that. I like what you're talking about over there. Ooh, that looks great. As I look up, I'm like, I do like that. I know. <laughs> I like what you're I'm talking like, about. I'm not even listening. I'm no, like, I'm no, I like, hear you. <laughs> I'm making shapes. I'm working on it still. Yeah, we're working hard over here, guys. I'm trying Don't not to Don't you feel this. for us? Like, this is, this is like fun. Yeah. I mean, it's hard work, but this is this fun. This is hard. This we're, is so hard. I need my coffee. Like, let people know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. We're doing hard stuff. It is. But, really just but it's in around. here. You know, like that's the thing. Like you have to approach every project as though it's fun, or else why are you doing it? Mm -hmm. And it is fun. And I love this. True. Um, Best job in the world. So sorry for ignoring the chat. Sorry. Uh, clipping mask with a white layer. So that would work too if you take that. Well. Clipping mask, the thing is, is that like whatever the mask is, that controls the transparency. Mm -hmm. um, unless you know something I I don't know, Tim. But I do, do want to say, Tim, thank you for you're, all your, your tips. You're like, unless you know something I don't know, which is likely. Which is, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which like, is most of you. Most of the time with most, most people. Most people <laughs> know things we don't know. <laughs> But I like that, our confidence that we both think that we oh, could yeah. know everything. I can do that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't about. either. <laughs> That's why we're here. Gosh. <laughs> oh, I think it's time to open up another soda and make a cracking noise so we can distract them. I know. <laughs> that worked yesterday. All right, so I'm making these like, so look at this. I want to get your opinion. What I'm doing is creating something where it's more uniform. So like graphic design, two circles. Illustration, squares tilted. Exactly. And then get into motion graphics and it gets a little crazier because we're creating things with illustration so this is and what Photoshop. I, uh, agreed. Yeah. This is what I would do there though, is at for, uh, I would start adding in some of those yeah, little those, lines. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm making this, so this is going to be the mask out version. Okay. So that's where those people's faces. So, so this is essentially what this will look like. Yeah, and yeah. so for this version, this. yeah, like make it look like it's in motion, like you have yeah. motion lines. Totally, and I'll bring in that. Oh, perfect. Some okay. of those little like, I like that. illustration might be more nebulous. Yeah, it could. Oh, you're or right. Like, I have those nebulae shapes um, that I, yeah, made art. Oh, ah, artboard. Hell. And okay. I think, yeah, nebulae so we're kind shapes. of on the same page with this. Yep. Is, yep. 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 Nebulae. I'm gonna bring these back down so I can use you and I'm gonna get rid of you because you aren't working for me anymore. <laughs> you don't work for me. 
Get him. Get him. I work here. for you. <laughs> All right. Good. Good art direction, Felix Bender. Felix Bender. Binder. Binder. That's like make it pop. Make it pop. Make it work. Okay. So this is what I was thinking there, by the way. Yeah. I got more ideas. Do it. Give me a second. Yes. Save. Show us. Save our files. Um, oh, this is going to be for UX because it's specific. Can I can I give a very subtle hint that's going to be so vague, but you're going to watch this video uh -huh. in a year and you'll be like, that's what Paul was talking about? Yes. Please do. Imagine I love a those. Day, this is an Easter egg. Imagine a day where you don't need to save. <gasps> Paul. I had what to if stop what I was doing. Files don't exist. What if but they what don't if, exist? What if you never have to worry about, oh, hurry up and hit save. So that's just something to think about. Trying to not get in trouble. Um, no trouble here, LaCroix. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's some good vodka. I just can't help it. Every time you drink, I want to drink. Mm -hmm. So I'm it's like, refreshing. it's you know, it's yeah. Well, you just make it look so good. I do. So, I do drive people to drink typically. Guess what I'm gonna do for UX? Is I'm I going drive to make, them to drink. <laughs> drive them to drink. I'm like Paul. <laughs> no. Just, just trouble. Okay, so for UX or XD, since it is all about grids, keeping the grid system, I'm gonna make it very square. Squares, not because you're squares, just because you're organized. I notice you don't use, um, you're just typically mouse and uh, Me? just touchpad and Yeah, right? yeah, I mouse. Um, photography, this is more like that, uh, I think. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. All right. I have to do something where it's like the lens, so a shutter. There we go. Boom! Oh, that is so Just good. All Done. I did is this. Dunzo. Like that little. You better know a brush. You better know a brush. <laughs> if you don't, something's wrong. <laughs> okay, so then here's where. I like Felix somewhere. making predictions as well. Mm hmm. One app, one Uber app that just changes the workspace. I liked the idea of having an Uber file, like it was just dot Adobe, and you can open it up in any app, like Illustrator, After Effects, if you wanted to animate it. Yeah, I like That's that too. That's not a sneak at all. <laughs> You're like, nope, That's nothing th sneaky here. You have to get the right shapes together, or else it's gonna look like mayhem and balls. Okay, I need paint. I need a cool. Ooh, I'm gonna do something cool. Do you hear my machine? It's working hard. Oh, it's these thinking. Are gorgeous. What do you guys think about these two together? These shapes. I feel like they seem to be working. They feel fun-ish. That is there some sort of stroke on this? What is going on? Paul, do you see what I'm seeing? Is there a oh let's you know what we can do? Let's go into our appearance and see what's going on. Did I, accident, did I accidentally do something strange? I don't know, I can't even see the highlight colors the same as the, that uh, background color. It's like there's a drop shadow on it, weirdly enough. I'm just gonna redraw it. That was weird, dislike. Okay, let's try this Unsubscribe. again. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe indeed. Okay, we're back. You do that in a business. conversation you want to leave. You're like, unsubscribe and you walk away. <laughs> that was so clueless of you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I'm love it. Joking. Unsubscribe. <laughs> unsubscribe and you just walk away. I was like, mm hmm. Jer who's that jerk? Oh, okay. I like this much That's better. That's how you make friends. Yeah, you know? jerk. <laughs> okay, so for illustration, and then when we get into motion graphics, I'm going to bring in a special circle and some of this other circle. Although that's too similar. What do we think? Hmm, motion graphics. I'm gonna dress that one up, that's right. Oh, that's what I was looking for. That shape for photography. My bad. Oh, yes. Are we having okay. fun yet, everybody? I'm having fun. I'm having a blast. Sorry, when we get to designing, I don't, I'm not like a... It's right tough, on, Keita yeah. Jones sensory overload, that happens. Sensory okay. overload. Yeah, Kita. Woo! We accomplished something. Yes. Okay. So I've got it, Paul. I totally have it. You do? I think so. I'm into it. I mean, like, I'm feeling like I'm feeling pretty about, about confident like about this over here. Regardless if I am right or wrong, there is a confidence surge. I love it. Surge of confidence. Do it. 
What do you think of this? Okay, so I have rhyme and reason for the shapes. Graphic design, circle, fun, you know, but also a little bit more playful, but exact because it's design. Illustration gets a little bit more, you know, wonky. We're like, mm -hmm. hey, we get to break some rules. We're artistic. Motion graphics, we combine multiple things into one. And then photography, I'm either thinking I'm gonna pull in this shape. Oh, I got a, I got an right? idea. I got, well, well. Because it's shutter, <laughs> it's a shutter from a camera shape, like the original no, shutter shape. That works. Um, I'm gonna do one of those. And then for UX, it's gonna be specifically straight grid line because they are all about the details. Pixel I'm perfect. A bunch of squares. No, I'm just joking. Jerk! These what? are I squares! Do oh, you do I that. Said, do I you said do they that? are a bunch of squares. But notice yeah. when I whispered it, it seemed like I was being a jerk. Yeah, it did. But you're not. Quote me on that. What are you gonna do? Read, read it back in do? court. Yeah, they're a bunch of squares. <laughs> So funny. They are squares. You're right. <laughs> they're a bunch of squares. <laughs> Those are Versus squares. They're a bunch Versus of squares. Circles. Those are well, graphic designers are a bunch of circles, and <laughs> I, I am a circle. You could get away with sarcasm in court. <laughs> Can I have the court reporter read back what I just said? Totally. But this is cool. I love the idea, and then I think it's going to get interesting as you start adding like little lines and different. Little yes, things. that's what I'm going to do after I build this out. I'm going to add flourishes. Nice just like little, and it's gonna be, yeah. Like yeah. those little, like the, like you get the idea that it's a, like it's a camera photography thing. Yes. That whole. Yes. Deal. The idea is true. Okay, I have to bring in my circles to see just how big I make this so it's consistent because they all have about a, a consistent area, and we want to make sure that that's what we're building consistency. At least for this part of it. The rest of it can be more expressive. Like, build a brush should be expressive. What do you think of mine? I love it. It's building brushes. I don't know about the butterfly, but okay. I kind of love the butterfly. Yeah, I was trying to add, I was just had flowers oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah. And then I'm like, I see. Oh, I like you know, that too. To like, it's just painterly stuff. I had a, I had a straight painterly texture. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love. I had just this, and then it seemed kind of boring, so I started adding more in. Yeah, I like the flowers. Okay, but, flowers work. But then again, what about I kind of like the butterfly because you already have nature in there, and it's like getting more into okay, animal. Okay, so I think it's just very. Is there like an armadillo or a uh, iguana or something you mm -hmm. could put in there, or maybe a I sloth? Got an, an octopus. Oh, octopuses are good. Um, it's actually octopi, isn't it? No, that's a common misconception. I know, I know what it really is, and I almost got you to say it. <laughs> Octopuses, right? No. No, it is. I will bet you the rest bet of me. my Liquid. Oh, Laquois. thanks. I want your warm half drink for the for you, bet you wrong. My, This is premier protein. Ew, no. Premier. I don't want to bulk. Gross. <laughs> Who are you? Protein. Why would you try and make me bulk? That's I don't gross. Know. I made Paco laugh. Yes. I win. That is Today new. I win. It's been our goal all along. All day. We talked about this earlier. Okay. okay, so <laughs> <laughs> now we both need to make a point. Go first. I'm gonna let you go first. Well, you are I the don't lady. Know. Mine's, <laughs> no, you can go first. No, no, no. I lost my train of thought completely. <laughs> well, I was just gonna like pat my own back and be like, "This is working, Paul. <laughs> it's working." <laughs> Tell me what you think of this. Yeah. If you like, I'm I'm dealing with the color, the overall color. Oh, I love this. Doesn't yes. this look better? So like, so much better. Now that you put that over there, it, yeah. it takes it in a different place. I like it okay. now. I like it a lot. So I before, just, oh, Kyle Cool here. I love that guy. So I just threw on. So it was like this. Yeah, the color I, was too much. I use this color lookup table, by the way. What's a color lookup table? Oh man, that's the best. Well, you probably know of it, but it's no. like right in here. No, I do not. Color lookup. That's a technical term, look up. Is your best friend. Is yeah. it like, I'm going to go look up color? That's literally what it is. Yeah. I really like when Adobe names things exactly what they are because it just makes sense. It's, <laughs> technically, it's a lookup table. It's called a LUT. And a it comes LUT. from video when you had lots of nonlinear editing systems. I'm looking at Paco for information. Yes. Because you had, and you needed them all to match and, and, and be part of the same film, even yes. though different editors used it. Oh, so, what these actually so are, by the way, mm -hmm. are a combination of 
a bunch of adjustment, tried and true. Just in, a, bust, a, a bunch of adjustment layers. Tried and true. I love it. So by the way, right up here. Curl so this says is that's my, my color this friend. Is my Good favorite, job, Curl. Favorite one is this first one right here. This two strip. Ooh, two strip. Nice. And it pulls out all of the blue. Oh, that is so cool. And just makes it look awesome. <gasps> I think it's. Fun. You've just changed my day. Yeah. And, and my there's life. There's so many of these things. Paul's that changed can. my life. But most importantly, this moment. This moment has been in, increased in priority but this is and where, excitement. Like, I think we also have a, so yeah, 3DL, some cube files. Uh, this is the What's horror, horror like, blue? Horror blue and futuristic bleak. Did yeah. you make w those? Way, way to keep it positive. Did you Ooh, make those or are those good. like technical? They're built in. That is so cool. Horror blue is built in. Yeah. Tell and, me that. And horror blue is cool. Like, yeah, horror blue is Because cool. I'm trying to take some of that blue and pull it into the rest. Yeah. That's why pulling That's out that green. That's super cool. And, but yeah. wait, is this and is yeah, this is one. for Photoshop, right? Yeah. Exactly. Bleak. Blue. No. That's gross. No, that's gross. It is futuristic and bleak. We're going back to strip look. You I could actually like, make these. No, I like the horror blue better. Oh, you I think do? it would had more dimension to it that felt more Photoshop aligned. Okay, yeah. horror blue. Yes. Okay, cool. Because it brought in a little Same. bit more color, but some of that blue. Oh. Uh, all right, so, so again, that's cool. color lookup table. If you go into layers, just real fast to point this out. This mm -hmm. little it's basically a combination of all of these things into one little oh, neat little file. Love it. And you feel like you're adding Instagram filters to your PSDs. So it gives you cool. this long list. Yeah, Heidi Morrow's like movie genre colors. I love it. Yeah. Horror blue. Oh, and we're wearing blue. <laughs> we are. That's my favorite color. So, yeah. Is it really? Mm -hmm. We are. This one though, not yours. We your are, blue is very we different. Are I the like same my person, blue. Because that's my favorite color as really? well. Really? Is it that blue or is it this blue? Because this is Eve Klein blue and I have a ring that matches. Oh, wow. That nailed it too. Look at that. I know, right? Eve Klein blue. I think that's. It's a very specific shade that you have I'm kind of like this blue, sure. Yeah, that's nice. I like it too, but it's not my blue. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. Thank no. you. Okay. I am back at it, and I think that I've By the way, I feel really bad that I have not talked about uh, the design feedback we'll be giving in less than 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, but, but we will give yeah, design feedback. We, we definitely will. And just so you know, that's right over here, of course, as you're watching live. Someone told me I should add rounded corners to the XD ones. Is that a thing in XD that corners are rounded? I yeah, uh, in XD? Yeah. I think this one. I think it's more like uh, app icons. Got so it. So that's why it works. Okay, then I will do that. Perfect. I wanted to know why they said that because it would make sense. I just wasn't sure. Oh, my computer's thinking so loudly. Can yeah. you hear it? So I'm just real fast as your computer thinks. You yeah. go over to the challenge tab. And we're going to be checking out album cover designs, right? Using oh, I love that. Selections and layers. So I think it's going to be much more more varied the reviews we get in today. Absolutely. So check love that, that out. Less than 15 minutes. Super fun to work with. And I'm big into review. the album cover design uh, idea of let's make something cool. All right, I'm making this one a little bit more warpy because that's a technical term, and I like to use technical terms. It's important. Warpy. Warpy, yeah. This is looking much more warpy. <laughs> Did you know you can adjust the roundness of, of corners in Photoshop, too? Really? No, I did not know that. Gosh. Why is that? Why do I not know these things? Where have you been? You've been you've been busy working. You've been busy getting paid. <laughs> I know. I've <laughs> been Get busy, paid. man. I feel so bad because, like, you know, everybody's not expected to know everything. Like, no. everybody's too busy working until they join us, like, on a live stream. And totally. And then you're like, whoa, there's all these tips that I could learn. Yeah, I agree with Anel. Says Jesus is great at explaining. Yes. Is that so same? He's, we could have him here next time and he could explain what we're doing. That could be a really cool trifecta to this mm -hmm. process. Over the That's shoulder good. explanation. <laughs> that would be fun. And he could do it in English and Spanish. Oh, how cool. Let's make he's, his job really he's hard. Cool. He's cool like that. Okay, I feel like this is getting out of hand. <laughs> I'm like, I am really spending too much time on these little guys. But I gotta get them right, guys. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I have these. I'm going to uh, expand all the shapes. Expanding, doing it with the fill and stroke. I didn't need to do that there, but now I'm going to use this as Pathfinder and mm, maybe I will do that. Now let's try this first. 
actually, no. I'm going to copy those first. Then expand, because I'm going to mask these out of the background, but I want to do it in a way that makes sense. Is your first, what's your first category that's orange there? Is that? Um, the graphic design. Oh, graphic Because I'm starting mainly in Illustrator for that. And Illustration is more leading towards Photoshop because it seems like that's what a lot of our guests have been using. You got And I'm it. differentiating them that way. It's also the mix one. That's the peach blue for Illustration. Yeah, I kind of. I'm kind of into that combo. I am too. It's the only one that has a nice looking gradient where I'm like, that makes sense to really share that because all the other ones have a very definitive color that is appropriate. And it'll look better on black. Yeah, totally. So. I will say uh, any any sort of like yellow or orange isn't good to mix with black because then it just gets muddy. Yeah, and it looks so like never... I'm using like the worst colors right here is, but I'm using them for differentiation. Yeah. And because I'm lazy and I didn't correct them yet, but now that I'm correcting them, you're gonna start to see things come to life. I would say as like a tip in general, don't, I wouldn't ever, if you have an image or something that's orange and it's semi-transparent and it's you're seeing black through it, it just gets muddy. Yeah, it's it ugly. does. It is. It gets muddy so and I think ugly. E like yellows and oranges, warm colors can be tough. Yeah. If you're not careful. Totally. Gotta be careful, y'all. Okay. Fun, fun, fun in there the we sun, go. sun, sun. Okay, so this is one way I'm going to look at it. So I'm just gonna... How's everyone doing today? Hi hey, everyone, uh, how are you? Oh, well thank you, Pokey Han, you're so sweet. They, she says they both look so cool, guys. We're so cool. It's yes, too kind to us. Okay. So, doop, 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 doop. We haven't gotten a, not that I wanna hear it, sometimes you get like, just make it better. Can yeah. you just make it better or something? I wish you could. Can you just make it like less horrible? <laughs> Good one. I like Can you that. hurry up and make something cool? <laughs> you're like, thanks I'm like, guys. Oh, I, I just want to crawl in a hole now. Like, yeah. I call my language, I'm like, I gotta go. Yeah, you're like, I gotta go. Okay. Um, I have a question for you. Yes. Tell me, what is the question? I think I already know the answer. Do you? You sure about that? Uh, I could surprise you, you know? I, I can know. be surprising. Okay, good. I want <laughs> you to sometimes. tell me, so for this one, mm -hmm. should it be, and by the way, let's go FF0. FF0. Ooh, FF0 uh, is my favorite. Go, let's escape. Let me by the way, I have no off. idea. All right, so anyways, I want to know if this should is better. The background is better. I like um, this. Black and, is the background better black and white or in color? Are we going to put horror blue in there? Because I, oh, I love that. The color's kind of nice. I like the color. What is this one for? Is this for just in general? Yeah, we're or just doing like. Or are we thinking a, this might be the, one of the challenges or like daily challenge? Oh, I'm sorry. I should probably work on that. <laughs> I should probably be working on that. <laughs> Well, like, I like uh, that we're you, dividing your, and conquering. Are you doing a job, Paul? Um, no, because I like that you did better no brush, and then we also, you just did designing in XD. Yeah. And now we and still have creative other? mornings and creative daily okay, challenge. Okay, let me do the daily creative So challenge. that could be creative daily challenge mm -hmm. or creative mornings, because I could imagine if it was creative mornings, what if you switched the background to like something that was outdoorsy, like palm trees or like sunrises or something that was about mornings. morning, yeah. Something that showed the person, but then mm -hmm. we also have to say field trip somewhere. Yeah, and so that's just kind of maybe. something we made up, but yeah. Yeah, we had made it up. Okay, so then we can kill it too. Well, I don't know for sure, but yes. We I made it like up, so we are also unmaking it da up. Daily Creative Challenge, what do you think about, do I do some sort of like something that re resembles a, a calendar? Mm-hmm. And calendar-esque. Yeah. Because like, I love this idea that this could be numbers. in motion too. Like numbers, one, two, three. I like that. Numbers, oh, okay. one, two, three. But also, let's think about how creative mornings are used. They could incorporate, if you did this design for the opener, they could do the motion for the opening. And that mm -hmm. would make total sense. But also, this would make it very different from the other stuff. Yeah. I like this. Okay. And the background can change 
uh, for whatever morning. This already, this already looks like morning. Ooh. It does. It looks, this, like, yeah, it feels like already, California kind of cool. Like... Yeah, you're so cool, Paul. But let me. All right, let's yeah, see cool. what we're doing over here <laughs> as far as, let's, let's make sure that my stuff's cool, too. <laughs> I was like, Paul, your stuff looks great. By the way, uh, Darren Sorrels says the black and white is too matchy. Like, I don't, I'm all matchy all the time, by the way. Look at us, we match. I don't have a problem matching. Do we have a problem yeah. matching? I you don't will, think so. Yeah, we don't have Did a problem. Did you see my shoes? They clash. match. They match. Boom, there you have it. Mm -hmm. Those are really cool shoes, Thank too. you, they're Japanese. Nice. They're nice. Japanese Asics, yeah. See, see that? Oh, okay. good. Okay, see. now I'm footless. <laughs> Everybody see those? I just <laughs> want to make sure everybody's up. You put that back on. <laughs> I was like, so I'm just gonna put this. It here. looked like it could slip off, and it was harder to pull off than I thought. <laughs> well, it I'm does sorry. slip off. No, this is perfect. Okay. Um, I needed to have you smell my feet. They don't no. actually smell that bad. They smell like no. leather. You're fine. You're yeah, on its Suka Tigers, you know Kerwin. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's my shoe. Oh. Yeah, they're on its wow. Suka Tigers. That is awesome. But it's with an S. So not a Z. stylish, one of the right things to pop, just like on that shoe. Yeah. And the thing is, if the if the photos were in color, they clash with the background. Mm-hmm. Because the color. That's why this is messy. Totally. That's why this one is this screen is messy. Pulling in some. Oh wait, did I already do this? I think I did. I'm gonna do it again anyway. I'm All right. So more. we have less than less than four minutes. Oh Get my gosh. Your Under design the wire. Feedback. Get your okay. designs in, so we'll give you some feedback. Uh, better know a brush. You better know a brush, Paul. Better know a brush. You better know a brush, know man. A brush. Next time, know a brush. It sounds so mean and fun. Better, better know a brush. I wish you knew one. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't help myself. It's too fun. Okay, I think this would be illustration. I'm gonna do this for... This photography. I'm gonna put this in for motion graphics. Um, this is graphic design. I've got big type, and then I need I one like, for UX. I like all those graphics. Thanks. I didn't. And that's do the them. big thing is I'm like do this for you UX. really want you want to be able to like highlight the stuff, and that's what I think the design yeah, does, right? Totally. And this is in the case where we might put artwork for people back there, but we might not have to, and it's really about selling the artist or mm -hmm. selling the designer. So this is the opportunity and, that we can do either. And I think a lot of people will not know the person, but they recognize the art. Yeah, exactly. So at a glance, you would be like, oh, I know that. Oh, that's who that is? Mm -hmm. Let's watch this. Totally. What was I doing up there? You gotta see what I did up there. We can just eye drop it. Boop. Okay. And All I'll right. bring in Rick and Terry, my two favorite people in the world. The literal people, not these figurative people that are in this photo. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, day three, by the way, of the Daily Creative Challenge. Just like get involved with that if you can. I just FYI. How do you mask? So I always have run into this issue when I have a complex mask or a complex object like this that I can't mask one photo in it. And that's where I get into Photoshop, because this, I have to do it in two parts. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? I don't, yeah, and I don't think. I don't think that's available. And I don't think Illustrator does a good job of like masking, to be honest with you. No. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna like just combine this little shape. As do you need? The line? Probably you not. Need, you, I do, uh, I like it. Yeah, there's a couple of, yeah. Let's just see, I'm gonna try a couple things. First, I'm gonna separate these, and then I'm gonna make Paco's life painful for a minute, and do it separately. Okay. So then one thing I can do is do this. And ultimately in the XD file, those are just gonna yeah, be lines. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna put him there for just now. Just right down the, just right down the middle right of his face. Right down the middle of his face. I keep doing that because I like it. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Okay. 
I like this aggressive typing that you can hear. We're like, yeah. I'm so aggressive. Are you? Your computer's gonna break. Well, I think I've already broken my command. Have you? My command key. I have to press it so hard now. So fun. Love it. Daily creative challenge. Compound path. That's kind of what you're making. Yeah, I make compound paths, but it's hard to mask with a compound path. And when I say hard, it doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's not even that hard. Would, it just doesn't that would work. Make it hard. Yeah, it kind of does. Okay, okay. So this one. I'm Daily going creative to have her back here. And then that means that I'm going to do one, two, three, back there. And yes, in XD this will make much more sense. But we're getting there. You know what I'm missing? Um I'm missing that little like outline of what it was before. That's what I'm missing. Before I did this, the last time I did it, I had these little lines, which I loved. So I'm gonna go back in and create that. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I don't even know if you need to cut the, like, I don't know. We're not at a review stage yet, but. <laughs> I don't know if you need the cuts in there, by the way. Yeah, I don't need the cuts in there, but what I do need is that little line that goes over it to show the dimension of it, and that's what I'm missing at this moment. I kind of see it as a as a 3D object. It looks like a 3D object. It does, but it's not as cool as I want. Okay. I'm like, Paul, it's just not as cool as I imagined. I know. <sighs> Such a story of my life. Such Not as cool life. as I imagined. Okay, so then I would do that. And boy, that's gonna make everything easier in a second. Mm, let's see. Oh, we're down to the zero, zero mark. Oh. No, zero, zero mark, guys. Man. This is so tough. We're so busy with this. How are we I ever going to finish? the client is going to get ticked. Ticked. We just, ticked. they're probably going to make us stay here Probably. Tonight. Forever. Okay. I'm going to see if what I did lines up. Hmm. I kind of like the width of white, but no, it's weird. Oh, that's what it is. This is forgot to be multiplied. It felt so flat for a moment. I'm like, why is it so flat looking? Okay. I'm gonna see what we think if we like it with or without. How are we doing there? Could be cool with the color overlapping. I'm just reading comments. Oh good, thanks. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Like in the difference with the two, I actually think you might um, have a point where we don't need that and this is too much. Yeah. You know? So I'm gonna go backwards in time. Yeah, I just, I would probably just make it one shape. Yeah. I'm gonna let it be for right now. I'd make it one shape and then I'd put a color splash over it. Of course you would. <laughs> You're like, make it colorful. And I'm like, I'm getting there. I will, I promise. Add a colorful splash. So we do have more work to do, obviously. Mm-hmm. We it's do. True. Yeah, maybe a good, and some of the subtlety be, will will be lost in a small thumbnail, but will be really, very nice when you view this large. Yeah, because there is a large thumbnail that we will create over time. Is there a, oh, I sorry, that's good. So yeah. I'm doing your thing. Uh-huh, oh yeah. I'm so, mine, mine desperately needs work, by the way, so don't don't judge mine at all. Well, yours is different. Oh, I like yeah. that. See, I mean, I'm trying to do it one, two, three, feels yeah, very yeah, step-like yeah. as yeah, opposed yeah, yeah. to a calendar. I like that because you're building in, this is where we shine. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, you're building in the reason behind there. That makes total sense and I love that. But it still needs work, so. I'm just kind of running out of time, so. Is it time to run out of time? I mean, to uh, be done? 
for yeah. things. Oh, is it? T it's time. Well, you continue to work. Okay. I'm gonna kind of <laughs> dive into this and get this set up. Oh yeah, you dive in. Let me give me one. Give me. Oh, a second. I love this. I love where there's gonna be this like main person, and then there's this other person. And they're like, I'm here too. Boop. <laughs> it's kind of cute. And then there's a big fight over who's, who's in the main the large person. And who's in well, the... we'd switch it up every day because Paco likes a challenge. <laughs> He'd be like, He's God, like, and now me. you're killing me. And I'm like, I did, yay! It looks kind of cool like this if we just didn't have anything in there. And we're like, nobody's here. Look, this is Steve Arcane. <laughs> no work, just fun. But that's the fun thing. You get to see ideas that you might use somewhere else in the future while you're creating something for the present. And honestly, I think even as a design, even if you remove that shape entirely and had that person's artwork back there, it totally. still, still, still works. works. Yep. Still works. We're like, guys, it still works, obviously. It's fine. We, we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. We, we fake it right we on the regular. We wrote this process, <laughs> which is, Get it done. So okay. again, you should be in the design feedback uh, Discord channels where I'm gonna be reviewing art today, just FYI. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. Phantasmo. This is cool, I like this. It's like, he's an abstract shape, just like his illustrations. And you say it in that voice. Yeah, he is a bit. I see, it doesn't, it's Dave not Ar as... He is an, ab he needs he a is an abstract better, shape. Like, if I were to do this, what I would do is just create, um, I'd make sure that, one, we weren't using a very small clip of someone that, you know, let's put, let's put Paul in there. This would be interesting because this black and white photo. Yeah. Oops. When I do that, I can do it all together, usually. Maybe not. Which is interesting. And this, this is, is what a I'll case do. we will sometimes have black and white photos. Yep. Check this out. Boom. Now they're all selected. No, it should have worked. Hold on. It does work. It was just my mistake. Oh no. It didn't. Hmm. I will get there. And when I do, you'll be with me. Oh yeah. Will you you could work on that? There, there we, we go. go. Perfect. It's all a matter of these skills in Illustrator with your fingertips. There we go. Sweet. Do you want your hair showing or not? Hair's pretty important, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's let's pretty, show some hair. It's pretty important in general. Cool. So and then we can always look at this. I think earlier I had it where, I think I'm missing some of the ideas that I had, which was a screen or possibly lighten or overlay, I can't remember. You wanna work on that and we'll review this stuff? Yes, I will keep working. You make and sure. And feel free, like, chime in. I'll chime in. We'll just switch to my screen. Yes. Thank you everybody for ooh. submitting a design, by the way. Just, I'm like, ooh, Just shiny. so everybody knows. <laughs> just to recap, this challenge tab, you have all day long. We're just getting you involved. This is Daily Creative Challenge 2, making an album cover design using selections and layers. So we're gonna get, like, all sorts of who knows what? Who knows what? And it's that's a good thing. I like it. I love it. And uh, so it started about, well, it could have started earlier today, and it looks like we do have more as I scroll up. This is gonna, there's Ooh. so much in here. I really like those parrots. Okay, we'll start right here. Perfect. Uh, Sapphire, cool band, float, Ooh, yeah. quite literally in a pool, cool band. It's kind of like an ode to Nirvana, you know? Yeah. I mm -hmm. like this. I get I like it. Too. I like this is fun. Cut off that text. Yeah. One hundred for Hundo. Sure. Hundo. Uh, the flower. Mm. Sure. I, it's kind of yeah. this reminds me of Fox. Seal. A kiss by the rose on the green. Remember Seal's cover? I have a photographic memory, by the way. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> any thoughts? Like, I it's tough because let me actually see. So nothing's really written about this. But. Yeah. I don't know if I, I don't know, it's good. What is it, what are? What do we wanna judge it on? I don't know, I was like, what is this art trying to achieve? But well, really the goal Well, it says the, the flower. Is... Um, I would maybe just change the title to something less literal and more abstract to go mm -hmm. along with the art, like bloom. You know, something or, that 
talks about your the buds. Idea. Yeah, your buds. <laughs> Let's just go with Bloom, okay? <laughs> Let's go with. <laughs> Let's go with Bloom. For sure. Was like, what was like? You're not the copywriter, clearly. <laughs> Actually, you're a really good writer. We already discussed this. I would watch a show that you would write for. <laughs> uh, like you would. You're funny. <laughs> oh, so, some I love jazz. that. You know, some smooth jab jazz group. I would <gasps> some smooth jazz group with seashells. This is one and thing you should try sax. not to do uh, is like split something like right down the middle. Yeah, I would like hard. that gradient. If it's more at an angle, would be awesome. It's more difficult to read too because the blue on the background of the gold and then the gold on the background of the blue. It's mm -hmm. kind of jarring because it can work sometimes with black and white or things that are of more different value. But these are such similar values that it's difficult to read. Yeah, and you almost read some smooth seashells. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, I'm just glad they're playing with it. It's I'm just, like, just glad there's that a there's lot. a seashell. I know. Seashells, like seashore. The golden, Sherry golden ratio happening in that. So use some of that golden ratio, which is in that shell. Use that on golden the ratio. Ratio it up. But mad props. Is that what the kids say? Today? Mad, I feel like that's. I don't know. I was always people don't hoping. I'm going to have a son someday and name him Horatio, but name him Golden Horatio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're welcome. Yes, please. If you, if you have one, you can name him that too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome for that. <laughs> that is a good one. Yes, I know. <laughs> and then. Ooh, I like this. Mean. The Lost Golden Album. Mean. Yeah. Golden this is mean. cool. I'd have even more fun with that type, but I love the colors and all that stuff. It's cool. Good job. Good job. Fantastic. Boom. Good boom. Guys, Getting all the thumbs up. All the booms. Sam's. This is really cool. I love this. This is like oh, super fun yeah. to look at. That's beautiful. I um, love the colors too. Good job matching the font, kind of like the design. Mm -hmm. Feels very integrated. The size of that text, notice how the size is smaller here. So there's nothing around. It doesn't need to yell. Perfect. Like I love this one. This is my my favorite Sam. Boom. I like it too. Boom. We have a lot to talk about. Fashionistas, rock your world. Whoa. Hello. Uh-oh, yeah. somebody call somebody. I think anytime you add a drop shadow with a gradient on that type, it starts to look like a little dated. And if that's what you're going for, perfect. Yeah, I agree. And I would even like, I, I always love it when you're not a, you know, don't be afraid to overlap that text. I think that's a good call, so good job. Totally. Uh, this is super fun. Who did this? Valder. Valder. D DJ Grandma Rocks. I love DJ Grandma Rocks. That's a pretty cool grandma. I bet you she's like still rocking somewhere. I'm into it. I'm into it as I, well. I like, like it. Like, with the, with the font, it feels military. So maybe try a different font there. Mm, yeah, totally. But, uh, it and feels and like... with the color and everything, it just feels like a little more military and you're trying to make it probably maybe a little more grungy. Yeah. So just have some fun there. Have some fun with that. You I know. would go ahead and go with some s just generic sans serif and then fill it with splats or... Fun it up. Yeah, fun it up. Fun it up. <laughs> Massimiliano. If I had a son, I'd name him Massimiliano. Oh, that's a great name. Oh, it's Massimiliano Bonivia. 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 Sorry, space, I love... <laughs> space I love Laura. Italian. <laughs> it was good. Oh, that's so that's cool. cool yeah. That's always really cool. I want to wear it. Yeah, love the colors. Super, super cool. Yeah, soft, easy on the eyes. Um, kind of like me, Paul. Mm -hmm, that's what they say. <laughs> easy on the eyes. Yep. Christine, that's your name. That's me. Yeah. Or just roses soft. are fine. Roses are to fine. Love I love <laughs> to love you. Roses are fine. This is, yeah, good job. That's a good job. To love you. To love you. So deep. First album cover. Congratulations, AK. Awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Good work. And again, that's really good. Good job here. Like, type needs some work. Um, well, I think there's some, cur some kerning happened here. This should be tightened up here. I'd say definitely with a script font, don't ever mess with the kerning. Never mess. Uh, no mess. Boom Boomer Kates. Who's Boomer Kates? I don't know. It's it's this guy's. I like how it looks like he's gonna smash that guitar on the parental advisory. Perfect use of font. Like everything this here is cool. This is good. That's pretty good. He's wearing CK jeans, as you can see. As you can see K? As you can see K. 
You're welcome. Just kidding, he wasn't. <laughs> but great, lots of comments there. Ah, Flower Child, it's from the 60s. Ooh, I like that. It's yeah. electric. It is electric, and it's sexy. I like you didn't even have to say hits from the 60s. We we we, we got it. that. Yeah, totally. Love love. Uh Mary's. Mary's. Ooh, I actually Ooh, I like this cool on too. the side. It's very nice. Things on the side are fun. Just roar. I'm doing something on the side right now. I love it. I love this <laughs> stuff real fast. You just look at this font right here like yeah. when you do that. Yeah. Nice. The uh, adjusted O's. Yes. Elevated O. <laughs> Big fan of the L O. <laughs> Hello. Day two inspiration from uh, Iani. Nice. Great. Everything is looking really good, you guys. I'm really impressed with like they've never used this program before, and uh huh, that's pretty cool. And here's a chance to try out masks. I think you just like make it look like this text is behind her. So just go in and do select subject in Photoshop. And then you'll be able to extract her from the background, put the type in the background. So it's kind of mm. like anytime they're close, they're tight but not touching. Like this is a yeah. lot of tension here. A lot of tension. And uh, if you want that, that's great. Yeah, but if you don't want that, that's bad. Yeah, she's <laughs> happy. She's like, she doesn't want tension. No, she doesn't want any of that tension. Coco Good 16. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. This is the. I feel like we've this seen is... that band play at some point, right? Whatever this is. I feel like I've been there in high school, and I was like, I've seen everlasting Every shadows Sweet. into the light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good name, too. Yeah, really good name. Shadows. That He's should like, be a real one. I'm like a little too edgy to be in the boy band, as mm -hmm. you can see. But great colors. Great colors. Uh, let's check time. Yeah, we have about five or so minutes. Like, we got the times. I just don't know how many designs are in here. And I love that font, Alabama Shakes. They actually performed at Adobe Max a That's couple so cool. years ago. Uh, that would have been design. fun to see. Yeah, they were good. Alexander's, love it. I love that. I don't have to tell you you're good. It's It shows. Yeah, we got you. Pro. Total pro move. Some more fun with the type. Good job. Oh, wow. Oh. The cars, city limits. Oh, yeah, I love the cars. That's electric. Yeah, I like the cars. Great too. band. We should, we should rock out to them later. We should. Want to? Yeah. All right, cool. Maybe we could do that they tomorrow, don't, but they won't they don't let us. us. They don't let us leave here. They won't. We, just have we to slept stay here last our, night. Yeah. That's why we look this way. Yeah. That's how we match. We, just, we had to share the same here, outfit. Here, throw this on. <laughs> That's great. Dan Barber. Half the time, it's like picking the right photo. This is a very, very cool photo. Totally. Uh, cool. Sam, doing a little, some effects. There it is integrated. Cool. Just play with, play with the type a little more. Um, a lot of times things fight, so this these two almost have equal weight. So try to even that out. Like, what's your first read? What's your second read? Ooh, DJ Pac-Man, of course, made the made the list. DJ Pac-Man. Is, Pac is that a thing? That's Paco. Paco's oh, DJ yes. Pac-Man. When DJ he's Pac when he's not doing his fifty other jobs. He's, He's DJing DJ. as a Pac-Man. DJ Pac-Man. DJ Pac-Man. Mixing up on the ones and twos. Not that I count. Regularly, <laughs> those are the beats that you hear in the background. Love it. Children's mindfulness. <laughs> <laughs> this just makes me laugh. That it's reminds me of Children of the Corn or like it's you know very, Pet Cemetery style. Very where you're freaky. like, ah, <laughs> Red Rum. <laughs> yeah. You're like, chill out, kid. Mm-hmm. Oh. Blonde Ambition, great use of font. Yep. So many to go through. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through all these. But you're doing so well. This is fun. I know Soul I'm not hoping very much, but I'm trying to get I, things done. 
Because you're like, I just hope they let me sleep tonight. I gotta finish this I know, this I was like, this is so much. I need to sleep, guys. Sleep is where it's at. Uh, this is interesting. So they use all caps here. And you do what you're doing. You're, you're doing <laughs> you do, You're like, you do you. I'm like, fuck, guys. You do you. <laughs> like, this is like, in, this is uh, uh, all caps. Like, don't do script in all caps, basically. That's yeah, sure that's, the situation. that's very hard to read. Yeah. yeah and actually, Life when, when I say pop. that, it almost works here, but typically no. Don't use all caps script. Just don't. There's you a just cool can't. file. We saw that. Alexander did a great job. Victor, this guy's serious. He's like, Derma Kennedy. Love that font. Zappa, live again. Just try to bring those colors together so they kind of match. Looks pretty good. Good job on the masking. It's not lost on us. We see that. We see your this mask little, and we the raise little, you. <laughs> little things. Yes. It's the little things. And it is pulling little it off. things. Oh, easy. It looks like things. a movie poster, but I'm into it. Ooh, yeah, it's like sight. Sight. Okay. sight. In a world. In a world. Actually, this is more like Where? a demon movie. Less like an in a world. Oh, look, there's a poster there of us. Oh, no. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Uh, oh, we have cool glasses. Yes! On us. Look at that! This is the, the this? cumber bottom. Mobies oh, did that. Damn. Two Mobies. This oh, is man. so good. Oh, please. I want. This is a, look at this, Can look I have shoot. that? Will you send that to me? Yeah. I cumber will, bottom. I will, I will favor that. <laughs> I'm glad somebody got my cumber bottom. Bember cumber bottom. Yeah. Bember batch that cumber bottom. Like, that was a great name. Thank you. I love it. That's funny. Fantastic. Some effects there. I like Ooh, this one. I do too. So spooky. It is spooky. It looks like the last episode of Game of Thrones. Totally. You couldn't see anything. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to watch that? that the other night, and it was during the day, and the sun was shining in my eyes, and I was like doing this, and I'm like, I just had to turn it off. It was too much. It hurt my face. Uh, would, would it be wrong to say that that's the, what, what we're going to say? <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, what I was going to say is that this one is great, and it's it doesn't give it justice for the background that it's on, because if this was in the real world, this darkness would mm -hmm. feel, like, really powerful. Yeah, exactly. So on a dark background, like, we can't control the presentation of this, but and, if um, you're thinking about it. Yeah, and, and imagine a sea of records. I think this one would stand out. Cause yeah. one that's, like, really dark. Totally. You'd be like, what is that all black one? Yeah. Ooh, the, the primitive. Primitives. It's like Happy Monkeys. It's like Coco. I like that. She's like, oh, I like shines. bands. <laughs> <laughs> that would be music, me. music for monkeys. Yes. That's what this is. Totally. Or Garage Band for Gorillas. Or <laughs> Cur Coco made a music. <laughs> Coco made a soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. Kerberos. Cur oh, uh, you know what? I think I saw an earlier Stone version of Joel. this, this and I think cool. this is looking really good. I like the photography that they used with it, too. It's It could be tough to match a photo with a 3D object, yeah, and I think they they're did it pulling well. this yeah, off. And yeah, and with the red, it feels like it's nicely done. Yes. Have fun with it. Try to mention. I don't know if you're using Photoshop for your 3D. Wow, we did it. We wow. did it? We, we got clear to the bottom. Yeah, we did. Boom. Uh, Look at us go. Look at We're us just go. Like, too many good ones. Too Thank you many. so much. Get involved. Thank you so much for checking those out. Totally. We'll kind of recap what we've done. I'll just, I don't know where I'm at, but here's all the ones that I did. You've got all, all the, the fun. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Well, yours are going to get into, you're doing the individual show on the right, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool because those have their own look, but they also share a hierarchy, which I like. So the the way that you're doing the title and then the name below it, mm -hmm. they share that. So that's something nice yeah. and common. Therefore, if we are going to extend into future shows, then we also have a hierarchy that's set in place so it doesn't have to be a new design every time because mm -hmm. that could be really time consuming. Um, yeah. Cool. And then I've been working busily on these, making sure that this makes sense. So what I did is kept it white back here because I also tried it. Um, hold on, I'll show you. So I tried it with, the black was throwing me off because it didn't feel right if you were looking at this one. And then yeah, I tried it the... with orange and I was like, oh, that's too, I think it's too much and it doesn't work in all cases. But I like the white because it ties to the name and the name is pulling your attention into, they're, they're kind of pairing with each other where the white lines are highlighting that this man is named Bember Cumberbottom. Mm -hmm. And this is who he is. So therefore, every time we look at this, we're like, ah, yes, there's Paul. And these are these two. And these are these two, and blah, blah, blah. So, I like that 3D one. Yeah, and it also sets back a little bit that it's about motion graphics because that's not so important 
when we're selling them on the person and content, that comes after. So that's the third read. So the first read is face with name, and then the purple is also a first read, being like, purple must be motion. And then the third read is motion graphics and the actual program. So we've got a you know an area of, we have levels of gaining attention. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, and then tomorrow, maybe I'd like to like throw some of these little things in there where we're like, mm -hmm. ooh, fun. Yeah. And we can do a crazy version, and then we can do a simple version mm -hmm. where we have a little bit more of a layered approach and uh, you know, throw some squigglies here and there where we could play these around and That's have already, them feel I really like, like that already. We're dragging some of those out there. Yeah. Like super interesting. Yeah, I'm it's really fun and it makes it a little bit more dynamic. So, That's And right. we are a dynamic That's company. what we try to do. That's what we do. So be dynamic. Be dynamic. And yes, to answer your question, we will be back tomorrow. We will be back tomorrow. Not We're only gonna us. We're wear a different outfit too, aren't we? We might, we yeah, might. we might match. Maybe we will. But this was not planned. No, it wasn't. What suit is coats tomorrow? Suit coats. We could do suit coats. Suit coats, yeah. <laughs> what is planned tomorrow? We have uh, Arisa. Arisi Toll tomorrow morning, Melody Sabur. Arisi so, will be back. Yay. 9.30, by the way. Then we have Jesus coming back, Daily Creative Challenge. And then we're kind of closing down the day. Closing down the day. Dropping yeah, the we're going to tie this up in a bow and be like, boo. Yeah, See so you next week. <laughs> totally. We really appreciate your uh, hanging out with us and your suggestions and everything. You guys make us better. Yes. Hopefully, we make you better by uh, tuning in you regularly. You make me better, Paul. Oh, you make me better too. I was waiting Thanks. for that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. We're going.